Um, welcome back to my YouTube channel and we're still handling um, the exam paper from um, UNSA 2014-15 intake PHY1010 um, the past paper so um, if you have any other questions you can inbox me David Banda the Universal Data Boy or you might as well call me the A plus ambassador um, you can also email the question to um, to this to this to this um, email account and then you can also send it on whatsapp to 0978957975 just send the question and we can be able to work on it just as we are working on this other one so um to go right straight into it um we have a question um it's b question 4b question 4b it was requested by um some anonymous person <laughs> i would mention her yeah but that's that so question question um b1 it says find the average braking force so now the question reads a car of mass 100 kilograms moving at 20 meters per second on a horizontal road is brought to rest by a braking force over a distance of 2.5 meters so now find the average braking force so as i said in any physics problem we draw our we draw our we draw our car we draw our car very expensive car eh? this is this is a very expensive car we draw a car yeah these are the windows so um it's going this in this direction we choose that this it will go in this direction the direction is arbitrary meaning that we can choose for it to go this way or for it to go that way it's still the same thing um so this car is moving with 20 meters per second and then it is meant to break over a distance so this is our car there and then so our distance is 25 meters and then our car is of mass 100 kg so now from there we can even collect our data um our data is mass is equal to 100 kg um velocity or speed is equal to 20 meters per second um what else the distance the distance is equal to 225 meters rather so now um for this one we can we can we can use there are two ways we can use newton's law of motion or we can use um the principle of work and energy so now let's start with the one for um the principle of newton using newton's law of, laws of motion so newton's second law states that the force is directly the acceleration is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the mass in the in the direction of um the force. So now here we've not yet found our acceleration, but we have our mass anyway. So let's try to find our acceler let's try to find our let's try to find our our mass our acceleration rather. So now um there are some kinematics equation that can help us find our acceleration, and there is v is equal to u plus a t we have um v is equal to u squared these are equations um two a s where s is the distance and there is the acceleration here a is the acceleration u is the initial velocity then this v is the um, final velocity then we have y is equal to y naught plus v naught t plus one over two um a squared so these these are these are the equations that we have in our as you know the equations that we already know so let's try to use an equation with these that we have so we have the velocity and the distance and then we'll find the acceleration so here we have the velocity um we have the velocity yes we don't have the distance and then we also don't have the time here we also don't have the time but then the only one which you can use is this one because we have the acceleration we have the distance we have the velocity final and then we know we have the velocity initial and then we know that it's coming to rest so our velocity final is zero so now um we can say we can use this one so we are going to use this one we're going to use this one so v squared is equal to um u plus 
two a s. We can make a the subject of the formula um, by taking this u the other side. So v squared minus u squared is equal to two a s. Um, we can divide both sides by two s, two s, to have so that the two s can cancel and then to have our a being equal to v squared minus u squared over two s. So I can plug in the values. Our final velocity is zero. It's coming to rest minus our initial velocity is 20, 20 meters. That's squared two. Our distance is 25. We are getting that from our data that we collected. So we get our calculator and we plug in the values. Um, so we have um, 20 to the power two. 400 and remember this is negative there's a negative there so we're going to have a 400 um over two um we're having two times two times um 25 two times two times 25 is 50 times 25 is 50 so now we're going to divide um 400 by 50 so we're going to have eight so acceleration is equal to negative eight meters um per second squared now why is the acceleration negative this might be of worry but then acceleration we know is a vector it can be negative and because this car is um decelerating so a negative acceleration is deceleration so this car is coming to a stop that's why it's negative because it has this one and then it's going down so now um we can we can go ahead and and since we found our acceleration now under our mass, we can use this formula. The force is equal to um, the mass. The mass is eight is ten kg, and then the 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 acceleration acceleration is eight negative negative eight times eight hundred. The force is equal to eight hundred newtons. So now this force will be negative because of the negative there now. It will be negative because this force is acting in this direction and then we've chose this direction to be our positive because this is going inside and it's positive so anything that's going this side um will be negative so now let me show you another way in which you can actually use um the conservation of energy the law of conservation of energy um so we keep that eh? we, we keep this in mind and we keep that answer so we can the law of conservation of energy says um the the force the the force the force the work rather the work is equal to um the force times the distance so the force is equal to when you divide this will be the work um over the distance now what is the work the work is the kinetic energy that this car possesses so this as this car is moving it has kinetic energy because of the velocity and the mass now there is some amount of energy that's required for this for this um car to be brought to a stop that's the that's the work that we need so the work that will be done is the same as the energy that this car has so if this car has um maybe um hypothetically speaking it has two joules and this is a three car it has two joules so for me to bring in a force that will stop this car the force must also be equal to two joules then what will happen is um this will be stopped so you can pronounce this as jaws juice um potato potato um whatever you need as long as you you still understand so now the kinetic energy will be equal to the work in this case and the kinetic energy will be equal to one over two m v squared so the kinetic energy is equal to one over two our mass is um 100 kg our velocity is um 20 meters per second so now we have our this 20 to the power 2 times um the 100 all this divided by um 2 so we're going to have the kinetic energy being equal to um 2000 joules that's like 20 kilojoules so now this is the kinetic energy that it possesses so now for you to stop this you have to come in with um a force that will give 
that will produce work that will counteract with this kinetic energy that the car possesses. So if you put in work that's less than this kinetic energy, the car will not stop. Yeah. So if you put in more than this, what will happen is the car will stop at a distance that's less than 20. That's less than um 25, sorry. So now we have our force being equal to um, our work is this work 20 joules 20,000 joules um, over um, over a distance of 25 so the force will be equal to 20,000 divided by 25 800 so you see that what we found here is exactly what we found there this is the force that's required to stop it and it will be negative because it's acting in the opposite direction and then this one will be will, will doesn't produce really a negative but then we understand that it will act in the opposite direction so we can put a, neg a negative or we can't put a negative but then what we are talking of is the same thing this is the force that is needed and then it has to act in this direction because if this force acts in the positive direction what is going to happen is that the car will accelerate more and it will not come to a stop but will increase um, in speed so that's all for this question you can use this method or this method whatever method you see for you all you have to do is just understand the concept so for any other questions you can um, inbox them to this number the number will be flashed on the screen or you can email me the question and then i'll be able to respond to it um from me david banda the investor data boy the a plus ambassador it's um bye bye and stay blessed remember to subscribe to this channel hit the um, notification bell comment like and also tell your friends about this page